Let's compare these three types of data using key characteristics. Let's break it down one by one. Categorical data. Data that represents groups, labels, or categories. Numerical discrete data. Data that can be counted in whole numbers. Numerical continuous data. Data that can be measured and includes decimals or fractions. When it comes to type of data categorical is qualitative, while both discrete and continuous are quantitative. Qualitative. Data that describes qualities or categories, not numbers. Quantitative. Data that represents numbers or amounts you can count or measure. Only categorical data represents categories or groups. Both discrete and continuous numerical data involve numbers. Counted. Used when quantities are whole numbers and can be counted one by one. Categorical and numerical discrete data are both countable. However, for categorical data, we can only count how many fall into each category. Since the values aren't numbers, it's still considered qualitative. Measured. Used when quantities are determined using tools and can include decimals or fractions. Only numerical continuous data is measurable. Only numerical discrete data take whole number values, while numerical continuous data can include decimals or fractions. Whole numbers. Numbers similar to natural numbers, but include zero. They do not have fractions, decimals, or negative numbers. Decimal. Digits following a decimal point. It uses place value to express the value of each given digit. A decimal is another way to write a fraction. Fraction. A number that represent a part of a whole. Fraction is written in form of ratio wherein the numerator and the denominator are separated with a fraction bar. That's how categorical, discrete, and continuous data compare. Master this, and data analysis will be a breeze. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.